Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Philip here with another uh, video update on the Xbox 360 wireless receiver thing. I did a video before about this and now with update 2004 on Windows 10, it stopped working. Some people were complaining about it. So I'm doing this follow-up video to explain to you how to fix it uh, again in a different way. So um, if you suffer the update from Windows 10 2004, your controller will start looking something like this, not being picked up by the wireless receiver. And if you go to device managers, you will see that it looks something like this, unknown device. Well, that sucks. Um, so what happened was that Microsoft with this update uh, probably decided to just support the official uh, Microsoft wireless receivers and not the Chinese versions. Most of the people have the Chinese version because it's slightly cheaper. Inside, they are exactly the same, exactly the same chip, doing exactly the same things. Just the Chinese people can produce it a lot cheaper, so they mass manufacture it and uh, people rather buy those. So the only thing that difference, uh, the only thing that is different between both of these devices is the ID. So uh, what you want to do to fix this is to get the Microsoft uh, drivers, and I will show you this step by step. So you want to get the Microsoft drivers from the Microsoft website, um, extract the information, replace the ID with the one from the Chinese version, and then execute the Microsoft drivers themselves. Sounds simple enough, let's get to it. So first we need to know the ID from the Chinese version. You go here to device managers, you click on properties, you go to details, you go to hardware IDs and you see the ID right here, 0291. Pick up a piece of paper, write it down. Don't be stupid that like me that I misread it and uh, thought it was 0219 and then it didn't work and I was left wondering why the hell it doesn't work. Write it down in a piece of paper. Pen, paper, write it down. Zero, two, nine, one. There we go. Now, what do we want to do? We, with this armed, with this knowledge, we will uh, download um, the drivers from Microsoft uh, from this page, the official Microsoft uh, drivers. Uh, there's only a Windows 7, not Windows 10 option, but Windows 10 and Windows 7, they are interoperable, sort of, I don't know the official words, how, how the technical term for that is, but whatever works on Windows 7 usually works fine on Windows 10. So uh, download 64 bits, uh, click the, the thing, it will give you a warning, you click keep, you click keep again, you look at the wonderful job that uh, Chrome developers did in managing to fuck this up uh, and make this mess of a of a of a download bar, and, and now you go to your downloads folder, and you should have the executable here. Don't double click it just yet. You want to right click it, extract to um, to a folder. If you have a seven zip, you should also have this option. I uninstalled seven zip and only have WinRAR. So that's why I, it looks different from the default. And now we go to this directory. You go to Xbox 360, set up on files, on driver, Windows 7, you have this file here. This file has the information on the, the driver installation procedure. Uh, if you right click on it and you edit it on Notepad, you open this up. <clears throat> and if you scroll down a little bit, you will find this ID being used, 0719. This is the official Microsoft ID. So we're going to replace all the instances of this. I did Control C right now to copy this. Control F, go to replace, and replace 0719 with 0291. I already had it here, 0291, because I did this before. I'm just repeating this for the video. So 0291, replace all five occurrences replaced. Sounds good. Let's save this. And uh, now we have another hurdle. Uh, <clears throat> but don't be scared. This is, this is totally surpassable. If you try to install it, right click, click install on the driver. Click yes. You get this error message. Oh my God, the file is likely corrupt or the victim of tampering. It's true. We are tampering with the file. And Microsoft very cunningly detected that this is not the signed file that I uh, usually use, so I do not want to execute it. Um, 
so us as owner of the operating system have the power to tell the operating system well maybe you can just bypass the testing for a little bit so what we're going to do is reboot the machine into uh, the version that uh, you that they don't test for 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 the signage of drivers when installing them uh, so to do that we need to run a command prompt on as an administrator if you don't do this as an administrator it will not work and now we're gonna run a command that I have noted down here uh, this is not the right thing I want to turn it on not off so on uh, bcd edit slash set test signing on so uh, we're gonna enter the test the signing test mode. So it's uh, for testing, so they don't really check things. Uh, we need to reboot now, so I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna reboot the computer and then restart the video again. Okay, we are back. Well, one thing that you can uh, tell immediately is that we are in test mode. It says here on the bottom right. So this confirms that we are in the mode for testing stuff that does not check for the signing. So we're going to go back to our directory and just uh, install the drivers without uh, without them being checked for uh, signage. So Xbox 360, setup, files, driver, Win7, and this one we right click and click install. Yes, sure. And now we have a check mark saying the operation completed successfully. Great. And if you look at your controller already, it's already being detected properly. I'm gonna put this on webcam real quick so you can see. So yeah, uh, controller's already working. So your system is already working right now. The only thing left is that we're still on uh, this weird uh, test signing mode kind of thing. And we probably should be on normal mode. What some people also do at this point is they install also the Xbox 360 widget thingy. I don't really need it, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, what i also seen other people do it is to make sure that the thing is really working. Go to back to device manager, go here, and update the driver. Uh, I don't think you really need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyways just to, to be complete. So browse, let me pick from the list and... This is the only option that you'll get. You don't really need to do this part, I think. But, well, doesn't hurt. Anyways, says it's fine. Needs to reboot the computer. I'm going to re reboot it in a second. Not click yes on that. I'm going to go to command. Not the normal command. I'm going to need one with the administrator. Run as administrator. And what I'm going to do is uh, turn off that special mode that we were on. So to do that, it's this command. I'm going to type this on the description as well. I'm just turning it off. So uh, now time for another reboot and check if everything is working fine. Okay, we're back from the second reboot. Let's check device manager if everything is okay. It's still being listed here perfectly. And if I go to webcam, I can show you Controller 1 working fine, controller 2 working fine, both of them being detected properly. So yeah, I don't know why Microsoft did this update, but if you suffered update 2004, this is the what you need to do to get your wireless controller uh, working again. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, donate a kidney, all that jazz. See you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.